it just quite welcome back to my solo is it worth it so for today's episode we got this cool amazon right here and basically what this is is a shelf lamp you can see it from this brand right here if you guys remember in the past i actually reviewed a few of these before but this one is slightly different and basically what is different between this one versus the other ones is the fact that this one gives you guys the usb-c output and I'll show you guys what I mean in a second. So first thing I should open this up to show you guys what the inside looks like first. All right, so once you guys open up, and we see there's a lot of stuff inside, let's take all of it out first. All right, so once you guys take everything out, here is basically what's included inside. So they do provide guys the user manual to teach you guys how to set everything up, but they basically provide guys everything for each different section. And when you guys look and feel the quality of the wood right here, it definitely looks and feels pretty nice. But you basically get everything on here, like the lampshade underneath this part. You guys have the actual foundation for the lamp. You guys have the drawer option, the cables, the different accessories, and all the different tools on here as well. But if you guys are curious about what is included in the package, everything that I see on the floor should be right here. So let's start assembling it to show you guys how to assemble it and what the product looks like once you guys finish assembling it. And I love how they label each different part on here so that way I know where to put each different section. So what we're gonna work on first is D. So this should be in the bottom. And we're gonna need to use a G screw to screw on each one of these shafts on. So we're gonna set up one here, one here, one here, and one right here. So you guys wanna go like this, and install each one on. You guys can use the tool that I provide for you guys right here to screw it on. All right, so we got one of them on. You guys want to repeat the same step for all of them. All right, so once you guys put on all four of them, you guys want to make sure all of them are tight. All right, so that should be good. What you're going to do next is put the F screw on top of each one. And that will allow you guys to screw on the next part. Once you guys finish that, you're going to put the next section on with the C. You just want to put it on top. Just like that. Once you guys do that, you have to put four more on top. You guys want to screw on each one. All right, so that's one. You guys want to do the same thing for all of them. Once you guys do that, you guys want to repeat the same step and put the F screws on top. Once you guys finish that part, you guys can put this on top. So this is the one that allows you guys to put the charging station and output right here and your phone as well. So when you guys screw in this part, you guys want to make sure the bottom of the drawer is set up right here first. So remind it came separately, so I have to refix it a little bit. So when you guys set this part, you guys want to make sure the drawer is in first. Same thing for the other side. Once it's in, they can put it on. So once you guys got it on, then you have to set the remainder part. So I didn't realize you had to do that first because the instruction didn't really provide that information. So what you guys are about to see for remainder part of the video should be correct. But I just have to fix this part of the video, so that's why it seems kind of out of order. But let's continue. Then you guys want to put the four remainder poles on top. And when you guys run each different section right here, you want to be careful and try not to hurt yourself. If you guys need to wear gloves, you guys can. Because in the past when I screwed this part on, I did hurt my hand before. Because of the side of the actual wood. So like once it gets to this part right here, if you guys struggle a little bit, you guys can wear a glove or you can use a towel to kind of turn it. So that way you guys won't hurt yourself. All right, so once you guys finish that part, you guys want to put this on top. So I have to go like that on top. And then you guys want to use a G screw to screw on each different section. So one right here, one right here, and then one more right here and one more right here. And before you guys tighten up, you guys want to make sure all the screws go in first. Once all the screws are in, they can tighten it up. Alright, so once you guys finish setting up this part, what you guys want to do is set up the output on the bottom. So if I rotate it this way, right here is a charging output. You can see how we have a USB option and a USB-C option. And right here we do have the regular AC plug outlet. And when you guys connect it, one cable is probably for the light option and then one is for the cable for you to plug in to activate the actual product. So when you guys set up, you basically want to put it inside like this. And you guys are also going to use this divider option. So you see in the bottom, they do give you guys an option to screw it on. So you basically want to put this right here. And you guys want to put the screw underneath both of them. 
So it looks like there's two for each, two for this one and two for this one. So if you guys have your own screwdriver, it'll probably be easier because the one right here is not convenient. So I'm actually going to get my own one. So the one that I got is from this brand. Yeah, using this one is so much more convenient because it is an electric screwdriver that give you guys all these different options. All right, so we got one of them in. We're going to do the same thing for all the other ones. Now let's screw on the power outlet. And we got screw in the power outlet. There's a certain slot in the bottom that you just want to fit in. All right, so we got that in. What we're doing now is to set up the light bulb option. So right here, we do have the light bulb cable. So when you guys take it out, here's basically what the inside looks like. So you need to unscrew this part right here and take this out. So they probably got the cable for you to pull it to turn it off and on. And they also give you guys an option right here that you guys want to unscrew and I'll show you guys how to set up. So you basically want to put the cable through the top like this. And you guys want to unscrew this part right here. Once you guys unscrew it, go ahead and fit it through the hole. And you guys want to slide the circle part through as well. Once you guys do that, you guys want to screw it back on. And the point of doing that is so that way I should give you guys that support in the bottom to prevent it from moving around. And if you guys notice for our side, we put the cable through the hole. That way we can pull it really easily. But in terms of this cable, you guys want to plug it in. It only fits one way. Once you guys got it in, screw it back on. You guys are all done with that part for now. What you guys want to do now is to set up the lamp shade, which are these two different parts. So if you guys open up, here is basically what the lamp shade looks like. So what you guys want to do is to use the metal frames or metal parts in the bottom and stick it on to the actual part right here. So you basically want to just clip it on on all four sides. Once you guys have it on, this is what the product looks like inside. So what you guys want to do is put it on top. And then once you guys put it on top, you guys want to screw it back on. And once you guys finish that step, you guys want to put the light bulb on. So here's the light bulb that they include for you guys. You do have the option to use your own if you guys do want to. But you basically just want to screw it on top. Once you guys screw it in, that is basically what the inside looks like. And like I mentioned, the product gives you guys like a cable management option. Let me show you how it works. So let's for example right here, if I want to clip it in, you guys can manage your cable like this. So that way the cable is organized and not all over the place. And you can do the same thing for the bottom cable as well. All right. So once you guys finish setting everything up, this is what the product looks like. So if you guys saw the earlier part of the video where I talked about the drawer option, you guys need to install that first. But once you guys do set up each different section and the lampshade option, then you guys already start using it. But see when you guys do set it up, right here we do have the drawer option for you to pull it in and out really easily. So if you guys want to put like your remote controls or something inside, you can definitely do that on here. Let me actually plug in the cable to show you guys what the product looks like and how it works. All right, so if you guys pull the cable, it does turn on. So and see for this light that they provide for you guys, it gives you guys the option to change the different color temperature. So this is one, this is two, and this is three, and that's back to one. And for the light bulb option, you do have the option to use your own light bulb. So if you guys have your own smart light bulb, you can definitely put that on. But you basically have one section in the bottom. You have another one right here. And you do have the section on top right here to put your phone and charge the devices if you guys want to. So I'm actually go get some of the cables and test it out to show you guys whether or not the output works. All right, so I have a bunch of cables right here. Let me actually bring it a little bit closer to show you guys what the product looks like. So let's test out the cable option first before we test out the AC outlet. So like I mentioned for the product, it does have a USB-C and USB option. And I'll show you guys a close up view in a second. But if you guys plug it in, if you guys try to charge your phone, it does work. And the way how they designed the product allows you guys to put your phone on here, just like that. And there's two different sections. So you guys can put one here and one right there. And they have a big slot where you put stuff in the middle here as well. But now let's test out the other output with the USB option. All right, so we got both of them plugged in. If you guys plug it onto a phone, that works as well. And when you guys put both of your phone right here, you can see it definitely does work. And for the last option right here, I'm gonna plug in my Anchor power bank that works as a wall charger. So if you guys plug it in, you can see it definitely does work. Let me actually bring the camera a little bit closer to show you guys what the product looks like from up close. 
All right. So here is basically what the plot looks like from up close. So we do have the USB and USB-C option. And right here, we do have the AC option. So we have to unplug it. That is basically what the inside looks like. If you guys unplug these, that is basically what it looks like right here. But if you guys plug it back in, if you can see both of them definitely does charge. So this is what the part looks like if you guys do use the charging output. If you can see how you can charge three devices at the same time, which is pretty awesome. And if you guys are curious about what is the maximum capacity for each one of these sections, they mentioned how it supports up to 50 pounds for each different section. You could probably put more in the bottom because it's literally on the floor. But for the middle section and probably for the top section, you can put up to 50 pounds. But that is basically everything that's on the bottom. Now to come boxing and test the bottom. Now the end question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this product, I do have to say that it is pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality LED floor lamp that give you guys a shelf option as well and a different charging output, then I do have to say that it is pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you really do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.